Greetings! This is Petu Trace Services channel, and in this video, we would like to introduce to you first lecture that is called Introduction to Seismic Processing. This lecture is a first lecture of from uh, the course called uh, Fundamentals of Seismic Data Processing. This is going to be only a fragment of certain lecture. To get the full lecture, please check the description of the of the video. We are going to demonstrate uh, a part of the lecture using uh, Vista software that belongs to Schlumberger company. To check out uh, Vista uh, processing software, please uh, follow the link below. Let's get started. Here we would like to demonstrate to you an interactive uh, noise suppression uh, using FK spectrum analysis. On the left we can see the initial seismogram that contains lots of noise. On the right we see the FK spectrum. Our task is to select certain areas that are going to be suppressed by this procedure. Let's mirror the zones to both sides of uh, zero in wave number. This part of the spectrum is going to stay uh, put. Uh, these parts of the spectrum of the spectrum are going to be uh, suppressed. Let's see the result. As a result, we can see that lots of linear noise and lots of high amplitude noise has been removed from the seismogram. Therefore, we can see more useful waves in the areas where they haven't been cleared before. Just look at how this procedure works. It did not remove all noise completely, but it certainly does help us uh, with processing and with receiving uh, great quality data. We need to, we're going to need to apply other procedures too, but this shows us exactly uh, how the noise should be removed. However, there's a chance that certain useful waves have been removed uh, as well. This, for uh, that purposes, we can check the difference uh, of the input and output data. We can see that here are only noises, noise waves, linear noise, uh, some parts of the stri of uh, the direct wave, which we're not using in uh, summary sections anyway, and others. No reflection waves that we can see over here have been removed during this two-dimensional FK filtering. These parameters we can save into a special file. After that, we can add this file to a certain uh, procedure. We can select that file in a certain procedure, and this way, uh, this uh, spectrum modification is going to be applied to all the uh, seismograms that we are going to select uh, for this job. Here is going to be data input, and after data input there is going to be FK filtering applied to the uh, all traces that we are going to put in here. If you would like to purchase a full uh, version of this lecture, or if you would like to check our other le uh, lectures regarding seismic survey, uh, please check the instructions in the description of this video. This is all for, for the fragment of the first lecture about processing of seismic data. I thank you for your attention.